So you already know what this video is about today. I'm going to show you guys some eyeshadow tips. These are things I've learned that have helped me that I want to share with you. Okay. I zoomed in a lot closer so you guys can see what I'm doing as I explain. First things first, the most important thing about eyeshadow is to use an eyeshadow primer. This is going to make a huge difference to your eyeshadow. It's going to make it last longer and make the colors come out more vibrant. I normally use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I really like this one. I've used it for years. It works really good. But I just purchased the MAC Paint Pot. I've heard really good things about this, so I wanted to try it. I've been wanting to try it, and I just finally picked it up. And this is in Painterly. So that's what I'm going to be using for today to show you guys. The Urban Decay one, it usually, well, it always comes with the brush like this, so I just apply it and then rub it in with my finger. But since this one is a cream, I'm going to use a brush to apply that to my lid. So this is what the color looks like. And I'm just going to use a flat brush like this to apply that to my lid. So I'm just going to scoop it in there and then apply directly to my lid. And like I said, I would normally use my finger to blend this out, but since this is a cream, I'm going to use the brush to blend it out. And then I might go in with my finger just to make sure it's really patted in there. So I'm just putting this all over my eyelid and just make sure your whole eyelid is coated. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, it's kind of hard to tell you how much to use, like what is too much and what is too little. So um, you'll just have to figure that out yourself. Just make sure your eyelid is just coated all over with the primer and I like to go all the way up here too. So I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to do the other eye. Now I am going to go in with my finger and just dab it in. You don't have to do this step. I just like to do this because I'm just used to patting it in with my finger. Next, you're going to want to set your primer with just any shade, any light shade close to your skin tone or just a very light cream shade. So I'm going to use this one right here. And you can use any brush for this, just any fluffy brush. This part doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what brush you use because you're just setting your primer. And the reason I like to set my primer is because your primer can be wet and sticky. So if you were to go in with some shadows without setting it, it would just be really hard to blend and right when you put the shadow it would just be super dark on that area and it would be hard to blend so I like to set it so I just have a very smooth dry canvas to work on trust me it'll make a difference <laughs> so I just apply that all over my eyelid all up here and when I apply it I'm just dabbing in the powder or the eyeshadow I'm not like sweeping it, I'm just dabbing it in there. And then just do the same for the other eye. And normally I tap my brushes off, but for this, since I'm just um, applying it to my lid, I don't really care. And that's another reason why I like to do my eyeshadow before my face makeup, because if there's any mistakes, any fallout, anything, I can just clean it up super easy without messing up my face. And I feel like it's just easier, like, because if you do your all your face makeup and you make a mistake when you're doing your eyeshadow, like, your face is fucked. Like, it's going to be so hard to clean up and it's just going to be a whole mess. So, I just like to do it before, but everyone has their own makeup routine. So, just do you. So, I know my eyes look super white, like, nothing compared to my skin tone at all. But that's okay because... Like, you're going to put your foundation over this, clean it up, and then you're going to put shadows on top of this, so it's not going to look super crazy. Like, I have it right now. Well, my next step is going to be to do my transition color. And your transition color normally goes 
on your crease, just lightly above your crease or on your crease. I think it kind of depends on your eye shape. Some people have smaller eyes, smaller lid space, so it just depends on your eyes. But you don't want to bring it too high to your eyebrow. Just find your brow bone and just under your brow bone is where you should start applying that transition color. So for the look, I'm just going to do a very natural look today because I feel like this is more like everyday look that everyone can do. So I'm going to be using this or the Bomb Cosmetics Meat Matte Adore eyeshadow palette. For my first color, I'm going to be using this middle one right here, and this is Matte Bernard. So I'm just going to dot my brush in there, like that, and then tap it off. And you want to start with a little bit and then gradually build up. So I just put a little bit on my brush, and I'm going to go in right here on my crease. And when I do my eyeshadow, I like to kind of squint my eyes, make sure my whole eyelid space right here is flat. It's kind of difficult if you just have your eyes open and you just go in with the shadow because then it's just not going to look right. So I like to squint my eyes, kind of look down, and just start applying this. The look I'm going for today is like a cut crease without doing the cut crease so most of the colors I used are gonna be on the outer part of my eye on the outer lid and not much right here in the inner corner so you guys will see what I mean so what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing windshield wiper motions which is basically back and forth like this you can also do circular motions which is just in circles obviously so whatever you prefer, you can go back and forth, windshield and then circular. I kind of go back and forth, but mainly use the windshield wipers. So I'm just going to do that. And this transition, I'm not going all the way into my inner corner. I'm just keeping it like midway. Because like I said, it's going to be like a cut crease without doing cut crease. So... Um, this lid part right here is going to be like a cream color, so I just focus it on the outer and in the, like the middle. And what you do to one eye, you want to do to the other eye. So I just did my transition on this eye, so I'm going to go ahead and do my transition on this eye and then move on to the next color. So I don't like doing one complete eye and then going to the other one. I like to go back and forth with the colors I'm using. So. This St. Bernard color I use, this one right here, I like that's my first color, so I'm going to use that one first on each eye and then move on to my next color. So now I'm getting more of that St. Bernard, tapping my brush, and doing the other eye. So I'm going to go in with the St. Bernard again and just deepen up this a little bit more. So I'm just adding a little more. Make sure to keep blending until it is completely blended and then move on to the next color. Because if you try to go back and try to blend it, it's just going to be messy and it's just not going to be as nice and blended like with all the colors transitioning to each other. So just with that first color, get it to the color you want, slowly build it up, get, get it to the color you want and then move on to your next color. So make sure it's all blended. I'm just going to add a little more to the other eye of that same Matte Bernard. Once you are done with your first color, just look back, look back at your work and make sure it looks, they both look the same, they both look good, you like how it looks, just look back and assess your work. I like to do that for every color I use, like for the next color. After I'm done with that color, I'll look back and see how it's looking. So then if it's too, like one is too dark, I can add more to the other one or just whatever. I just like to look back and assess my look. Okay. Oh, and for that first transition color, I use the Morphe G17 brush. It is just a fluffy brush for transitions. I 
recommend using a big fluffy brush like this or like this one. This is the MAC 224. This is what I use to apply the powder after the primer, but these are good fluffy brushes that could be good for your first transition color. For my next color, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, this Matte Jones right here. It is slightly darker than that first one we used right there. And this is also a fluffy brush, but it's just a little smaller than that first one I used. I like to use smaller brushes every time because if you keep using big brushes like this, it's just going to cover that first transition color you put on. So I like to go smaller and smaller my brushes. So I'm going to dip it in, in that Matt Jones. Just tap a little bit, tap off the excess. And then go in this. I'm just focusing right on my crease and on my lid down here. So for this, you can see I'm using circular motions. And I'm just focusing this. Now I'm doing windshield wipers. But I'm just focusing this right on the outer lid. So I'm just putting it right here on my crease and then down here on the lid. So I'm just going to dip it in a little more into that St. I mean, not St. Jones, Matt Jones. So windshield, circular. You can go back and forth. Do what you got to do to blend that shit. My foot's asleep and it's so uncomfortable. Ooh. Dipping it in Matt Jones again just to intensify it a little more. And I'm bringing it in closer to my lid over here. Just bringing it closer over here. Because that next color I use, which is going to be a little darker one, like a little darker than the one I'm using right now, is going to go right here. Right on the outer corner or outer lid so I'm dipping in again so just a little at a time keep dipping until you get to where you want it and then if you feel like you went a little too high with that second color then you can go back with that first brush you used and just blend it out I don't add any more additional product I just go in and blend. You can put more product, you can just dab it in a little bit and then apply a little more, but I just like to go in without any product, any more product. And also, I like to use different brushes for each color, so then if I need to go back with a certain color, I can just go back to that brush and go in. So I think that's good with that eye, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. And again, the second color I'm just bringing in midway. I'm not going all the way into my inner corner. Just keeping it over here and to the middle. And I also like to stretch my eye like this, just so my eyelid can get a little flatter and I can blend a lot better. Oh, and the second brush, I don't really know. Um, it's just this brush. It doesn't have a name. Let's see. Um, I got, oh, it's crown brushes, came in this little set, so they're just crown brushes, and this was the limited edition collection, which I got at my work, where I used to work, which was Cosmoprof, so, yeah, those are crown brushes, so the third brush I'm going to use is the Real Techniques Beige Shadow Brush, which looks like this, and it's just a smaller, more tapered brush than the second one I used. I'm going to switch palettes for a second for my third color. I'm going to use this MAC um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this one right here. It's just um, a little more darker than that second shade I used. So always remember, lightest to darkest. No matter what colors you're using, if you're doing purple, light purple to dark purple. So I'm just going to dab it in there. Tap off my brush, 
And this one I'm just doing on my outer corner, like this again. So now I'm going to go in with Matte Williams. I switched back to this palette and I'm going to be using this one right here. And, and I just got a little, it's like a thinner brush, that third one, because this one I just want to put right here. I don't want it to go any higher, I just want it right here. I'm kind of tapping it into my lid. I'm not doing any of the motions right now, the windshield or the circular motions. I'm just dabbing it in on there. And then I'm going to start just brushing it so it blends a little into my lid. And then this last darker color, I put all right here on my outer lid. And then what's left on the brush, I do bring it in a little further to my inner corner just to make it look a little deeper. And I use a very light hand, I forgot to mention that. When you hold your brushes, I like to um, hold them back here. If you hold it up here, it's going to be really harsh. So you want to hold it in the middle or just towards the back and just use a light hand and just brush like that. And then I'll just do the same thing to this side. And then I'm going to look back and see where I'm at, how I like it, if something needs to be blended a little more, or if something needs to be a little darker. Okay, so for the last part, it's going to be the color that's going on my lid, which is going to be just a very cream color. And for this, I like to use um, a very flat brush like this because I just like to pat it in into my lid. So I think I'm going to use this one, which this color was the one I used when I set my um, primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and since this is a flat brush, I just like to swipe it on there, get some product on the brush, tap it off, and then start patting from my inner corner going towards the middle and blending it in with these darker shades that I did. So like I said, it was like a cut crease without doing the cut crease. So I, once I dip my brush into that shadow, I dab it into my lid and just start making like a little crease like this. And then I like to put my brush like this and brush this way so it can blend so those colors can blend that dark brown and this one that's going on my lid and then you can look back see how it's looking so I think that's looking good so then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye and then you can always go back with that dark brown color and just I didn't add any more color to this brush I'm just using what was already on there just to blend this a little more. And then I do like to bring this again to my inner corner, that dark color, so it adds a little more, like makes it look a little more intense. And looks like I actually did cut a crease. So just keep playing with it until you've reached what you want, until you've reached your goal of how you want it to look. If you're gonna do eyeshadow, you're gonna need some patience. You're going to need to take your time. You cannot rush eyeshadow. I mean, if you want it to look good. Instead of this white, just cream shadow I use, you could also like go in with like a shimmer. I'm not really a shimmer person. I prefer mattes, but it's up to you if you want to do a little shimmer. You can, of course, put that on your lid right here instead of this just matte cream color. It's up to you how you want your eyes to look. But now that my eyeshadow is done, this is where I would go in with my eyeliner and clean up my shadow and just move on to my face. That's the end of this video. If you thought it was helpful, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.